Five years and over a hundred grants issued to non-governmental organizations and local communities. Ukraine is one of the 125 countries successfully supported by the Smoke Grants Program of the Global Environment Facility implemented by the United Nations Development Program. The Small Grants Program activities are diverse while being united by a common approach – Community Action – Global Impact. The Small Grants Program has implemented a number of projects to install solar collectors in towns and villages of eastern Ukraine affected by an armed conflict which has forced thousands of people to leave their homes and look for temporary homes. Solar energy collectors have come to the rescue in this difficult situation. They save energy and do not depend on central power supply. We are refugees from Lugansk, and my wife Natalia is here at the moment. During the anti-terrorist operation, there were about eight to nine people here. With the help of the Small Grants Program, a system for water heating has been installed, which has turned out to be really useful. At the same time, the problems of energy saving and climate change are relevant not only for eastern Ukraine but also for other parts of the country. Solar batteries have been installed at the regional hospital in Malin. This has helped save local budget resources and the savings have been redirected to address major welfare issues. Considering the cost of the whole system, it will pay off within the next five to seven years. In Zhitome region, local activists have implemented a project entitled Solar Energy as a Common Benefit for the Environment and Livelihood. As a result, they produced 12 solar fruit and vegetable dryers. These were distributed among the participating households and local schools. Thanks to this technology, farmers dry fruit, vegetables and herbs in an eco-friendly solar oven. I have great memories of the project and I appreciate it as a great learning experience. I realized I could run a business and get small help. The jobless rate among women in this region used to reach as high as 20 candidates per job. Now, most of them are employed in green tourism and make their living this way. Ukraine's nature is very rich, with more than 25,000 species of plants and fungi and 45,000 animal species. However, nature has been changed by human activity in recent decades. Therefore, a lot of plants, animals and ecosystems badly need protection and conservation. Oski is a remote village in Rivna region with a very slow pace of life. It is surrounded by large forests and unique nature which require protection. The local community and forest workers have been actively tackling the problem by installing 12 feeders for wild animals. They are currently successfully working on recovering the population of rare and endangered species. The population of elks has grown by 8 animals, roe deer by 10 and boars by 4. Three arboretums have been established in Ostki and neighboring villages. Rare plant species have been planted there. We visit the arboretum often to teach children to look after the trees, learn about their qualities, get to know which trees have been imported and how they grow and breed in our area. This is the local community of the town of Sami. They successfully combine a healthy lifestyle and thorough knowledge of the nature of their native land. This is an educational route which helps observe the unexplored areas of Ukrainian forest steppe and encourage people to preserve, respect and cherish its beauty. The first route is 29 km long and the second one is 33.5 km long. These routes were exciting as we got to know the nature of our land better. I really liked the route. It was funny and exciting. We got really tired, but it was interesting. We came back in a good mood and with great impressions. A non-governmental organization, Ecological Technologies, is implementing an innovative project to collect and recycle solid household waste in Jatome region. We process 150 tons of paper waste, 11 to 12 tons of bottles and up to 20 tons of cans every month. The benefits of the recycling facility include stable jobs and decent income for local residents. 
A considerable part of Ukraine's forested steppe remains contaminated with radionuclides after the Chernobyl disaster. One of the objectives of the project Ecological Life is to implement the technology of managed pastures to combat land degradation and restore cost-effective cattle breeding. Natalia Tsuman is a co-author of the methodology using her academic achievements for the benefit of local communities. Together with her colleagues, she has developed a variety of herb mixtures which do not accumulate radionuclides and resist negative natural conditions. These herbs are radioprotective, as they accumulate small amounts of radionuclides. It is important for the communities to get clean milk. Each community can use the already developed herb mixtures and sow their own fields with herbs best suited to them. Even small grants can help local communities implement projects to significantly improve their livelihoods and the environment. It's truly inspirational. It's people saying, uh, we had given up hope. Now, now we realize that we are our own hope. Uh, we make things happen. Uh, and if the project can help them achieve those kinds of dreams, it's, uh, it's just a real joy to see.